Leviticus chapter 14, starting with verse 1. Hello, friends. I want to read to you from Leviticus chapter 14, starting with verse 1 through verse 7. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall go forth out of the camp. And the priest shall look, and behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed in the leper. Then shall the priest command to take for him that is to be cleansed two birds alive and clean, cedar wood, scarlet, and hyssop. And the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it, and the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and shall dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall sit, and he shall let the living bird loose into the open field. Two birds, one dipped in blood. The wonderful symbol of the living bird dipped in the blood of the bird slain and then set free to its joyous life is to us the symbol of the atonement, the sacrifice that Jesus made, the cross of Calvary. There were death and life blended presenting to the searcher for truth the hidden treasure, the union of the pardoning blood with the resurrection and life of our Redeemer. The bird slain was over living water. That flowing stream was a symbol of the ever-flowing, ever-cleansing blood of Christ, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world, where man, mankind, may wash and be clean from every stain of sin. We have free access to the atoning blood of Christ. We must regard this as the most precious privilege ever given to man. The greatest blessing, but how little is made of this great gift. My friends, Have you given your life over to Christ? Are you His? The scriptures say we can only serve one master, and there's only two, the Prince of Darkness, Lucifer, who's called Satan, and Christ, the King. God, who has made flesh. You're not your own. My question to you is, is God, are you Christ's? Is God even in your thoughts? And I'm not talking about praying and asking God for all your needs. God, do this, God, do that. God, bless me, bless me, bless me. Is God in your thoughts? Are you reflecting the character of Christ in your life? Do you meditate on his word? Are you his completely? Look around at our world today. It's declining at a rapid pace. We are morally sunk into a pit of sin. Our governments are corrupt. 99% of the things that are watched and listened to are corrupt. Sin abounds. We are not growing. We are declining morally rapidly. My question to you is, whose are you gonna be? Are you gonna Stand with Christ and be His to be free.